There were long lines at election offices today across the region. Voters wanted to get their mail-in ballots requested before the 5 o'clock deadline, which just passed. Some people waited in line for more than an hour, even though they could have applied online. With one week until Election Day, more than 51 million ballots have been cast across the U.S. Tuesday night, the big story on Action News is the rush in Pennsylvania to get those mail-in ballot applications in. Yeah, some voters we talked to today say the long wait was worth it, while others are expressing frustration. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson live in media with those details for us tonight. Becca. Rick and Shari, the longest wait I heard of here in media was two and a half hours to get that requested for the mail-in ballot. Some of those frustrated voters saying they weren't able to actually cast their ballot today. But county election officials say as long as that application was in by 5 p.m., anyone who wants a mail-in ballot is going to get one. I'm just tired of the whole thing. I just want to be able to vote and let it go. Malachi Moore came to the Delaware County Election Services Center hoping to pick up a mail-in ballot and fill it out on the spot. Then he saw the line. After looking at how long that line is, I'm not probably get in and out on the day of the election. He said he'll vote at his polling location on election day instead. Others said the two and a half hour wait was worth it. Absolutely, 100%. Why is that? because I want my vote to count. Tuesday at 5 p.m. was the deadline in Pennsylvania for voters to apply for mail-in and absentee ballots. It could have been done online, but folks in this line were hoping to vote on demand, meaning apply for it, receive, fill out, and return the ballot in one trip. It's almost like April 15 for taxes. People are coming in asking for ballots at the very, the very last minute. Part of the holdup, mail-in ballots are a bit more complicated than voting on Election Day. Did it include a secrecy envelope? Was it signed? Was it dated? Was it signed in the right place? Was it properly dated? It's not like self-checkout at the Wawa. You know, it's, it's a little more complicated than that. Those who are still in this line at 2.30 had their applications and IDs scanned and were told to either come back tomorrow or give an address for the ballot to be sent to. And I have a bracelet with vote and with all my grandchildren's names. Eileen Miller said no matter the obstacle or wait, she will be casting her ballot. This is a very important election, and um, I feel very strongly about my vote and protecting democracy. If you still have your mail-in ballot, if that's how you were planning to vote, the sooner you turn it in, the better. Your county board of elections needs to have it in hand by 8 p.m. on election night next Tuesday. Live here in media, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Shari? Yeah, people anxious and excited to vote. Okay, Becca, thanks.